we all in Europe, we are being entertained right now with what is happening right here. And maybe not in the way that most Italians would love to be represented internationally. I mean, uh, this country is far more serious than maybe some of its governanti. What, what do I say? Um, but I, again, I'm a guest. And uh, as I said this morning, when somebody else asked me about this, I said, you have to, in great countries, like Italy is a great country, you have to look at the tradition, you have to look at history, and you have to look for all at the, the constante, the, what is always there. And of course they asked me when you came here 50 years ago, do you see many, do you see a great many differences? Do you see development? Of course, we all, all countries in Europe have been through an enormous upheaval in the last 50 years. But the essence of Italian history, the essence of what the country is, what the character of the country is, with everything happening now, which is so present due to news, due to television, due, I mean, we all know much more about each other, but what do we really know? We know the superficial things, the incidents, the accidents. But the essence of Italian history, I think, has not changed. Maybe it will change, of course, door what I said before, the Transmigrazione, which is going to be unstoppable, whatever people say and whatever they think. Europe is going through a period of total transmigration, which will last for a very long time. And I do not think, contrary to most people, I do not think it will change essentially the character of European countries. It will change a lot, but not the essence. These are difficult questions. That, I suppose, is dependent of the people themselves, uh, whether you feel religious. There are still churches, there are now mosques, there are Protestant churches. Um, my religion is uh, poetry. It's not necessarily an official organization uh, like the Catholic Church. And I find transcendence, which is what religion is all about, I find it in art and in literature and in poesy, poetry. distanti da modi e suggestioni che lasciano il tempo che trovano, proponendo chiavi per indagare e approfondire idee che urlano e problemi e contraddizioni che agitano e percorrono il nostro tempo.